This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm at the annual scientific sessions of the American College of Rheumatology in Philadelphia. I'm speaking with Dr. Grant Louie, a rheumatologist at the National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases, who's presenting a report on the uh, changes in the rate of joint surgery among patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Dr. Louie, could you briefly tell us what those data showed about the trends in uh, use of surgery? We used an inpatient data files from the California Office of Statewide Health Planning and Development, um, in which we found that the number of total uh, knee replacements had uh, increased from the early 1980s through the mid to late 1990s before showing a decline. And so this was more marked in individuals who were younger, those who were aged 40 to 59 years of age. There we found a 19% decrease in the no, uh, total number of knee replacements. And when we looked at the number of hip replacements, uh, the number of hip replacements had uh, decreased by 40% compared to approximately 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so the, uh, the reason why we focus a little bit more on the younger age group is because if the reason for the decline is um, due to the improved treatment of rheumatoid arthritis that we have seen so far in some patients who have had disease, uh, that perhaps it is among the younger age group in which emphasis should be placed as opposed to the older age group who are 60 years of age and older. Your data suggests that there has been improved therapy and this has led to the reduction in the need for surgery, especially in these 40 to 59 year old patients. Um, so. The, one of the limitations of our database that we used was that we did not have available uh, lists of medications that these particular patients were taking. And so I can't uh, contribute with confidence that this was related to improvements in therapy. However, during the uh, same time course, there, has been, uh, there have been a number of studies that have uh, shown that, uh, and I think rheumatologists have reached a consensus saying that yes, that therapies now are much better than what they were several decades ago. So what I can comment on is that during this time period, we've seen um, an increase, at least through the 80s and through most uh, of the 1990s, and then a, a slow decline since then. Yes. Um, so I think this is very encouraging news. If uh, the reason for the decline is due to improved treatment, but I think our study results need to be validated in, in other patient populations um, and before we can say with confidence, yes, this is due to improved treatment. Right. This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network.